Okay, so here we are in part two of our Sonic Mirage stereo modification instructional video. Um, I don't know how well you can see in the camera here, but coming off of those eight CEM3328 chips should be eight little lines. And each of those little lines is a resistor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And this camera isn't the greatest for fine work like this. But you should be able to see them still sort of standing up there. There's a better shot. There's just a right there and there and so on and so forth. Now each of those resistors is going to be soldered to a wire that goes to our quarter inch output jacks, all eight of them. And those are soldered very carefully to the third resistor from the bottom. Let's see if I can get some of the point here. Yes. There we go. So now we've got third one from the bottom, one, two, and three. And it's sort of the left hand leg of the resistor. Again, I know this camera isn't the greatest, so you just have to bear with me here. But one, two, three. It's a 10K resistor. Uh, the code is brown, green, orange. And again, it starts with the left leg sticking straight up. Now, in order to do this, um, you'll have to take your resistors, cut off most of the lead on one side, and then sort of form it into a little J hook. And then you'll be able to get it underneath this 10K resistor leg here onto the left hand side. And um, I use one of these little helping hands devices to hold them in place while I saw them. It makes things much easier. Um, I got this one off thinkgeek.com. I wouldn't suggest ordering it from them because their shipping is horrendous. If you can find it somewhere else where you can get it for cheaper, I definitely recommend it. They are very handy when doing fine work like this, and you can use the magnifying glass to check your solder points. And so, yep, third resistor from the top, the 10K one, or excuse me, third resistor from the bottom. One, two, three, the 10K one, left hand leg. Okay, a little 8 watt 15K resistor right here. And just, uh, you're going to want to check your connections to make sure that your solder joints are good. But that is step two, just getting all eight of these little resistors soldered on to the audio outputs of your chips. And so we'll see you again in part three.